Sulfur is important in plants because it's an essential in producing proteins. There's three essential amino acids that are found in all proteins that have sulfur in them. Also some sulfolipids in membranes and the nitrogen fixing enzyme nitrogenase is a, has a very high amount of sulfur at the active site, 28 sulfur atoms. So that's a very important in your leguminous crops uh, to maintain high activity. So this is one of the reasons for sulfur deficiencies in crop, the shift from low analysis to high analysis fertilizers, a higher yielding crop varieties, removing more sulfur every year from the soil, reduced atmospheric sulfur deposition, decreased use of sulfur and pesticides, and declining sulfur reserves in soil due to loss of organic matter. In my class that I teach in soil biochemistry, uh, micro, uh, microbiology, I tell the students, and, and in most soils in Ohio that would be like that, about 90 to 95 percent of all the sulfur in the soil is organic in nature. And so for that to become available to crops, it has to be mineralized. It has to change from organic form to inorganic form. And when you lose that, when we've lost about 50 percent of the organic matter in many of our soils, when you lose that organic matter, you lose a storehouse, a bank account of sulfur that was there for many, many years. This just shows uh, the loss. When we start scrubbing all of our smokestacks from industry, uh, they had to remove the sulfur. In 1971, we were getting about 10 pounds per acre of sulfur as rainfall. Today, we're getting about 5.7. 175, 180 bushel per acre corn crop. Uh, and farmers will go above that today, we will remove about 15 pounds of sulfur every year in harvested grain. So you can see we, are, we used to get enough to almost meet that requirement, especially back then the yields weren't quite as high. We're running deficits today. So eventually, there's no such thing as a free lunch. If you keep removing and don't replace, and you don't have a high organic matter soil, uh, eventually you will begin to see deficits. And, more and more universities and states around the country are starting to report sulfur deficiencies in their crops.